In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a few different scorpions with babies. I'll give you an update on some scorpions I produced recently. And then I'll be showing you some that I added recently to the collection. So first up, I got these black bark scorpions. This is one of her siblings. You can see how they um, look different. So pretty cool species. Next up is my Florida bark scorpion communal. So this is the female I paired in the video a few months ago. I don't know exactly how long ago it was, but she had babies. And I moved them to this communal and added another female. So she's gravid. And there's the male. So yeah, I'll probably leave most of these babies in the communal. I'll separate some of them. I'll definitely separate most of these even though they are communal. And then last up, I got some Central American bark scorpions. Here's what these guys look like when they're growing up. Pretty scorpion. And then once they become adults, they kind of dull out. So that's all who have babies right now. Next up, we got the Tataya Smitha, the Lesser Antilles Thick Tail. So my female has 16 of these, and I keep these separate because they are um, cannibalistic as babies. But I'm gonna try feeding this one. Next, the little desert hairies, they're doing good. So out of those five, I'm only left with three. I'm actually try feeding them. Yeah, these guys have pretty good appetites. The ones that live. I don't know. I don't know if this one is gonna eat. Next up are my Tataya Stigmaris communals. So this is the one with the babies. And you can see they are growing up. Some just molted recently. That one's pretty much an adult. Well, maybe sub-adult. There's more in the front, somebody molted. Also have a few babies in here, I think. Yep. This is the adult community, but I stopped separating uh, babies because I have enough of these guys now. Some more on the side. And in the back. All right, so here we got two different species. Over here is the dwarf wood scorpions. And their babies are doing awesome. 
I haven't lost any babies from these. Oh, and one thing they do is play dead. So she's fine. See? The first time I saw that, and my heart dropped. Cause it was like a day after I bought them. I have more of these dwarfs. Who are uh, recently molted. So I might just add everybody back to one big enclosure. Yep, so these were all produced by these two females. They don't need a male to produce babies. And then over here we got some sand devil scorpions and this female is also with her offspring and another communal full of these produced by this female and another one that i have And last up are three babies that I added recently. So these two are Androctonus gonetti, the ebony fat tail scorpions. And this is a Parabuthus, the burrow and thick tail scorpion. That was just a video giving you an update on some of my baby scorpions, some stuff I'm raising up, some stuff I produced. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching.